Adrian LaFosse here with the Columbia New Home Buyer team. You can find us online at ColumbiaNewHomeBuyer.com. Today we are doing a Build Watch video. Uh, Build Watch is a video diary series where you watch your home being built from the ground up. It's a free included service when you use our services, uh, which are free to the buyers as it is anyways. Um, Today we are in Blythewood, South Carolina, in the Langford neighborhood. Uh, this home is built by Mungo Homes. It is a Victor floor plan. It's been uh, two or three weeks since last time we were here. Lots of uh, action going on. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look. It is January 31st, 2018. So I believe that the stone had not been completed at the time that I was last here. The siding had been. Okay, so greeted here in the foyer. Nice archway there to the dining room, coffered ceiling. The raised panels there, chair mold and picture molding. There's still wear still steer wheel there, and uh, got an area right here for maybe hanging coats or whatnot. Uh, you can see that the flooring is in, just not clean right now, and it's covered up during construction. Uh, looks like that they're in the process of installing carpet. So, this is the door to the garage, and uh, this is actually, you probably call this a mudroom because this is where the washer and dryer goes, right here, and got a lighter floor, uh, flooring in here, it looks like, unless it's just really dusty, <laughs> it is lighter. Um, and you got this, this nice area right here, again, for coats, a little desk, uh, extra storage, whatever you like. And then the uh, two-car garage. That right there is a tankless hot water heater. Uh, sometimes the builders put them on the outside. Mungo's been putting them on the inside lately. It's, uh, it's not instant hot water, it's endless hot water because uh, it heats only on demand which also makes it more efficient. So family room and to the right is the kitchen. I think you've got a heat-in kitchen morning area there. And the kitchen right there, looking back towards the front of the house. Okay, uh, gas fireplace, which is set up where you can put a TV on the wall right there. This is something that, depends on your price point, depends on the neighborhood, the build, or whatnot. Um, but uh, this is the way that it should be done for mounting on a wall. So you have electrical outlet right there, but then this right here is a tube that I'd venture to say either goes, it might go down here underneath the uh, window right there, or it might go above the window and then back down. But you see that the other place is right here. So your cable box and your stereo and you know receiver and everything like that can go right there. And then you run like HDMI and audio and whatever you need through that tube and it comes out to the back of the TV. So another look here at uh, the flooring that's been installed. Again, it's dirty right now. Everything's just been installed. Uh, you, there, the appliances have been delivered. The uh, tile backsplash, 
is in, the granite, granite countertops are in. Again, but hard to see because lots of progress going on. And then uh, to the right of the family room, he's got a half bath, which toilet and vanity to still be installed. And then master bedroom is in the back right with views of the pond. He's got a back box ceiling. We'll take a, look, take a look in the bathroom first. They've got a, a double vanity right here. So the mirror will be right there. And then your lights above. I think they had to do some adjustment here to the window. Drywallers are so good, you'd never be able to tell that they had ever had to go back. Um, so then you've got your garden tub and it'll be glass right there. Uh, separating your shower and then that's uh, the water closets and walk-in closet for the master and then actually I'm going to go ahead and walk out to the back of the house uh, because just recently the uh, the back has been graded. Um, got the sun right in the eyes here, so maybe a little bit hard. And also, you can tell that we had a lot of rain, so that will be smoothed out. And again, once there's foliage, you know, um, uh, sod laid down and it grabs root which it will start doing the spring and summer, then uh, you won't have that, those type of trails that have gone off right now, but they'll smooth that out again. So this used to be a huge drop off right here, and now it's a pretty smooth, you know, um, slope that goes in line with the slope that it already is, and then it evens out, but a beautiful view of the, uh, of the pond especially in the winter. Um, again, you know, sloping away from the house and then near the, the silt fence is where it definitely, you can see actually right there, you can see it that it start to actually smooth out quite a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look upstairs. So we're going back towards the front of the house and instead of the uh, stairwell being right at the front, you got it off to the side. These are going to be hardwood tread stained. Again the same floor covering. Right here was not a it's not a true hardwood. Um, it's a laminate. It's a uh, it's very uh, sturdy. All right. So if you're facing the house, this will be the front left bedroom here, and then the center front bedroom, even bigger. And then the the front right which could be used as a, a suite because it actually does have a walk-in closet right here. This is attic access right there. There'll be doors there. And I turn around. See the door I came from, but then you also see access to full bathroom, double sink vanity, to toilet and tub shower, and there's also a door 
right there leading to the hallway. But if you like, you can close it off and make this a private bathroom. I've got a linen closet right here. This would be the back right bedroom. And then a full bath right here. It's uh, extra deep, double vanity, toilet, tub shower unit. And then this beautiful bonus here, very good size. Can, can do a few different configurations. If you wanted to, you could uh, could have put like a TV, if, you're, if that's what you're looking to do, a TV on that wall or that wall. The future owner actually decided to put it on that wall right there. All right, so this has been a build watch video. Um, we're about oh, well, less than a month, I believe, from closing. Somewhere in that vicinity, or maybe a little over a month. Um, but yeah, we're getting into the like 45 day range. Maybe if there was a contract that was pushing it, maybe a little bit sooner than that they could do. But uh, pretty much like the last two or three weeks, it looks like there's not that much being being done, but there's a lot of quality, con quality control checks, getting utilities connected and whatnot. So what do we expect to see next time? Uh, obviously the appliances installed. The carpet, it looks like all the flooring, it looks like it's in. They just haven't, I think it's the only thing I saw on carpet they hadn't finished there. Um, you know, staining, maybe some more touch-up painting, um, landscaping outside, which sometimes they don't do that until, sometimes they do it a month in advance, sometimes they don't do it until the, of closing, sometimes they don't do it until much later. So, beautiful house, and uh, so we'll see you on the next, next video. Hope you enjoyed this one.